Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightSail VR. We're here at the B&H booth where LightSail is a partner. And I'm going to show you a little bit about the virtual production setup we have. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera tracking first. So we're using InCam to do the camera tracking. And InCam is one of the unique camera tracking setups because it, you can use it with markers, how we are in this booth, but you can also use it completely markerless. So you, it's, it's a very flexible system. I own one myself. We love it for going on location because you don't have to find where you can place markers and all that sort of stuff. It also mounts nicely to the camera. You have one cable coming out to the computer. Works really, really well. Um, if you notice these lights here, these are provided by Quasar Science and they're, they're mapped to the software, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. But the video that's playing on the wall is also playing on, uh, is playing on these, these fixtures. And you could easily customize them, bring them, drag them, do whatever you want with them. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, the different workflows with Assimilate. So let's go take a look at the computers here. We have two different Silver Draft machines that are powering the different virtual production setups here. And what that allows us to do is switch from one to the other. So we have an Unreal scene set up in here. And then on the processor, which is the Helios, the Megapixel Helios, um, we can switch the inputs to play now the other side. So if I come over here, and you can come in and look at the screen here. So now, now what we're doing is we're, we're playing back driving plates that light sail shot. So I saw the shot these driving plates the other day. And these fixtures here, these are the lights. So right now, if you point the camera at those right lights over there, they're turned off. See those quasar tubes are turned off. I'm going to drag these over, and I'm able to map that wherever I want. So I can take this controller, and I can move it over Las Vegas. I can move it over the lights. I can move it over this part here. Whatever I want to see, I can use that in there. So the software that's driving all this is called Assimilate Live Effects. And Assimilate Live Effects is a live compositing software that is now used for virtual production. And it's a very, very flexible uh, software. It allows you to do everything. If you want to do 100% of your virtual production in it, you can. If you want to use plates and use that with, with virtual production, that's great. If you want to use Unreal, you can pipe that through Live Effects, bring all your tracking in, and push it through, and do all your projection mapping in Live Effects. So you don't need InDisplay. Or you can also use a regular InDisplay workflow, which is what we're showing on this machine. So we have a regular in-display workflow. In -dis Unreal is driving the wall. And then what we're doing is taking a signal out of Unreal, bringing it through live effects to drive the lighting on the walls. Because it's much easier and faster and more efficient to drive it in live effects than it is Unreal traditionally. So it's very, very powerful, very, very interesting. Let me show you some other content. This is, this is uh, one of the dunes that I shot recently. And what I did with this shot is I shot the background plate with a cinema camera, the Canon R5C, and then I shot the lighting plate with as an HDRI. So I used the Canon R5, and I shot an actual HDRI with a much, 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 much further range than uh, a cinema camera can get. And so let me show you that. So this is the HDRI, and it comes in linear. And I just, I'm able to do the transform here. And you have the full range of the sun here. So it's unclipped sun. And now you can feed that to your fixtures if you want to. So I'm going to put our right light. So now you have the sun, the brightness of the sun, coming through from this HDRI. Um, the other thing this allows us to do, we can show one signal to the wall. So we can show the cinema camera to the wall, show the, other, the HDRI for the fixtures, which gives you a much higher range. And you can also then color them separately. You can do different brightness. Sometimes your fixtures, you, you might need to change the intensity or even the color, green, magenta, to, depending on who the actor is, what the tone of their skin is. You might want to change those things. And you don't want that to affect your wall. Well, you can do that through live effects. So now I've switched back over to the Unreal scene, which is over here on the wall. And I'm going to show you something else on this screen. So now that this isn't being projected, I'm going to do one of my favorite things, which is I love to show you how fast it is to get up and running with live effects. So I'm going to completely close down this project. I'm going to exit the program. OK, I'm opening it for the first time. One, two, three, four, five, six seconds, and I'm up and running again. It's very fast, very reliable. There's another demo I'm doing upstairs, and I haven't even turned off the computer in 72 hours. It's just been running nonstop. It's very stable, very fast to get up and running. 
And you can also bring in photogrammetry models directly into Live Effects, so you can do lots of interesting things with it. I'm also pushing Live Effects to its limits at LightSail VR using 2D plates, using 360 plates, using photogrammetry, using Unreal, using, using Blender, which is a brand new pipeline we've, just, we've developed. As far as I know, it's the first virtual production pipeline for Blender. So definitely come make, make sure to check us out, lightsailvr.com. I'm Alex Pierce. See you later.